The diagram shown here is of adrenal gland. It has outer part adrenal cortex and inner part adrenal medulla. Cortex has three histological layers from outside to inside zona glomerulosa, zona fasciculata and zona reticularis. Zona glomerulosa secretes hormones mindulocorticoids. The meaning of mindulocorticoids is they have effect in the mindles that is electrolytes of the extracellular fluid sodium and potassium. Zona fasciculata secretes mainly glucocorticoids but little amount of androgens. Meaning of glucocorticoids is they have important role in the glucose metabolism but in addition to it they also affect the fat and protein metabolism. Zona reticularis secretes mainly endogens but little amount of glucocorticoids. But why only zona glomerulosa can secrete aldosterone? Because the cells of zona glomerulosa have an important enzyme, aldosterone synthase, which other two layers do not have. This shows the pathway for the synthesis of aldosterone from cholesterol. All steroids, they are synthesized from cholesterol, be it mineralocorticoids, glucocorticoids, androgens, estrogens, progesterone. So aldosterone will also be formed from cholesterol. About 20% of the cholesterol is formed de novo in the adenocortical cells from acetate. But about 80% comes from low density lipoprotein of the circulating plasma. Cholesterol is converted into pregnenolone by enzyme uh, cholesterol desmolase. This is the rate limiting step in the synthesis of steroids and is regulated by adenocorticotropic hormone and angiotensin 2nd. Pregnenolone changes into progesterone by enzyme 3 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase. Progesterone changes into 11 deoxycorticosterone by 21 beta hydroxylase. This 11 deoxycorticosterone is also one of the potent mineralocorticoid. It has 1 by 30 of the activity of aldosterone. 11 deoxycorticosterone changes into corticosterone by 11 beta hydroxylase. Corticosterone has only slight mineralocorticoid activity. So, corticosterone changes into aldosterone by enzyme aldosterone synthase and this enzyme is only present in zona glomerulosa. So, from here the conclusion is that aldosterone is formed from cholesterol and potent mineralocorticoids in this are aldosterone and 11 deoxycorticosterone. This figure shows the mechanism of action of aldosterone. The cell shown here is the principal cell of renal tubules, collecting tubules. Aldosterone, it enters the cell membrane from the basolateral membrane. It binds with the mineralocorticoid receptor. It forms aldosterone mineralocorticoid receptor complex. This complex enters the nucleus and binds to DNA. mRNA is formed from transcription of DNA. mRNA is released into cytoplasm from the nucleus. This mRNA is translated and proteins are formed. So what are these proteins that are synthesized? These are the sodium potassium ATPs of the basolateral membrane. Next is epithelial sodium channels in the luminal membrane. Next is renal outer medullary potassium channels in the luminal membrane and next is mitochondrial enzymes. <coughs> so these proteins will help in the reabsorption of sodium and excretion of potassium. So aldosterone tries to retain sodium and tries to excrete potassium. It takes about 45 minutes for the synthesis of new proteins by aldosterone. Now let's know how is this aldosterone regulated. It means what increases aldosterone. If there is rise in potassium level, if there is rise in angiotensin 2nd, 
and if there is decrease in sodium in the blood then these all increase aldosterone next is a and p atrial natriuretic peptide this hormone is secreted from the cardiac arteria if they are stressed indicating there is increased blood volume in the heart so if anp is increased then aldosterone will decrease next regulatory molecule that is required for aldosterone secretion is acth presence of acth is required for the synthesis of aldosterone but it does not control the rate of aldosterone secretion it means even if small amount of acth is present aldosterone will be secreted it has only permissive role this figure shows uh, the role of angiotensin angiotensin second in plasma aldosterone and plasma cortisol above is the plasma aldosterone and lower is the plasma cortisol we can see this is the control means no drug is given to the person but when angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor is given then we can see that in plasma aldosterone it is rapidly decreasing because angiotensin second increases plasma aldosterone so if we give angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor then it decreases plasma aldosterone but there is no effect in the plasma cortisol and when angiotensin second is infused again then we can see that plasma aldosterone is rapidly increasing but again there is no effect in the plasma cortisol so from this diagram from this graph we understand that angiotensin second has important role in the regulation of plasma aldosterone but no effect in the plasma cortisol this is the summary of the uh, aldosterone regulation or what increases aldosterone how it works so this shows the renin angiotensin aldosterone axis low renal perfusion that is in case of renal artery stenosis in case of liver failure heart failure and hypovolemia blood loss there is low renal perfusion low filter sodium and sympathetic activation for example when standing from the lying position these all factors stimulate the juxtaglomerular apparatus of the kidney juxtaglomerular apparatus it secretes hormone renin renin converts angiotensin angiotensinogen into angiotensin first angiotensin first is converted into angiotensin second by angiotensin converting enzyme angiotensin second it stimulates the glomerulosa which secretes aldosterone and this aldosterone it binds to mineralocorticoid receptor in the kidney in the principal cells and we have just uh, um, seen the mechanism of action of aldosterone it causes sodium retention potassium wasting that is potassium excretion and excretion of h plus ion hydrogen ions in the intercalated cells and so if aldosterone in, increases in high amount then it can cause metabolic alkalosis